All right, here at No Reserve, we have our super clean, all original 1991 Ford F-150. It's a regular cab, long bed, XL. It was uh, always been in the Northwest. It was purchased new at uh, Heritage Ford in Kirkland, Washington, which is just a little bit uh, east of Seattle. Uh, it's all original paint. This is uh, it was purchased uh, with the scarlet red or, or the cabinet red exterior paint, and then it's got the scarlet red interior. Paints in really nice shape. It's got really nice gloss to it. It's really nice and smooth. It's all original all the way around. It's got the original pinstriping. I've uh, been through all the door jams. You won't find any tape lines. Uh, you look in the the gas doors. It's beautiful original paint. No tape lines. You always have signs of blown paint in there if that happens. You know you do have some wear and tear. You know it's a um, Oh, close to a 30 year old truck so you got three decades you know you're gonna have some aging in the paint on the on the uh, hood with like you know some little chips and some little etching in the paint from it looks like just you know elements and little scratches and stuff like that we'll try to capture all of them um, so hopefully you guys can stick around um, let's see it's got uh, it's a five digit odometer you know um, it's got almost 89,000 miles on the odometer but it keeps rolling over to me um, I believe it could be 89,000 original miles just by the wear and tear of everything, how nice all the doors shut. You know, the paint's got aging, but it's in really nice shape with the gloss wise. You know, all the gaps in phenomenal condition, you know, all the tape lines match up. The hood's never been off, all the fender bolts, nothing's been messed with. And you look at the headlights, they're nice and clear. You know, you have some aging the chrome around here, but a lot of times those are kind of gone to a yellow color. But, you know, could have turned over, so it's kind of uh, your opinion, I guess. Um, but I've done a ton of these trucks, and it is hard to keep a truck, you know, this nice um, in this age with uh, the more miles you put on. So we'll kind of go around it. Um, you got to expect your typical stuff like I was talking before. You know, you got a little chip right here and some scuffing in the paint. You have your typical, you know, these things got the aerodynamics of a shoe box. So they're going to catch every bug and, and rock coming down the road. So you're going to get these little stone chips. Uh, both corners look like they have a little bit rubbed on something. Isn't it a little bit you know kind of rubbing in the chrome there too but the bumper's not tweaked or anything it's got nice gaps still got the plastic fillers down below grill's in nice shape you know the emblem's got nice blue but it does have some stone issues the black coves are a little bit faded um you wrap around here you know like i was saying there's some chips on the top of the hood and a little you know you'll see little round spots where it looks like maybe some tree sap sat on it but they were able to get on top of it but it did leave you know you'll see Kind of like what I was saying, a little etching in the paint where kind of the, the wax will get in there. So you could choose to use red wax or you could take your time to get that out. But you do have that. You got a chip right here. Uh, this truck doesn't have any paint lifting issues. We just had a windshield put in it. You know, a lot of times you'll get paint lifting issues right in here. The wind beats down. Um, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, surf, some condensation they got underneath the paint. But it's good solid metal. Uh, when they had the windshield out. They took a look at it and uh, you know everything inside there looked good um, so you do have a you know throughout the body you can have these little chips and little scratches in the paint but you step back and you look at this reflection um, you know I am a couple feet away and being 30 year old paint I mean you could just see the shine on this thing is is excellent uh, you got the door sweeps have your typical aging with you know little dried out cracks so the cool thing is is you can get both sides inside and out for 35 bucks to the door the mirrors are in nice condition. Usually they have a ton of surface rust. You know, your 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 handle's got a little bit of aging. The bulkhead's nice and straight. It does come with a factory camper package. You know, it's got the original rear window. It's never been out. It's really nice and clear. Just a super solid rust-free truck. You know, you have a not a whole lot of entry wear on here. This is kind of the stuff I say, that, you know, that probably could be you know, 88,000 original miles. You do have some little chips here. Um, you know, your door entry, you know, getting in there with the keychain banging around, little stuff like that, a little aging on the pinstripe. But you usually get just a ton of chips of all along here. And it just has a few. And the same with here. When you get a lot of miles, you get a lot of stone chips that come back and catch this wheel well lip. But again, it's really nice. You do have some side loading scratches, little ones. You know, you got a little bit of aging in the paint right there. Again, around here, you'll have some of this stuff. And then, you know, it's a original paint truck, which I love, so I, I don't mind stuff like that to me. I just love original paint. So I expect this stuff because it was a pickup truck. You know, you have your use on the top. Little scratches, some couple little tiny dings. Had a canopy on its most of its life. You can see a little bit of ghosting right here from the canopy 
um, padding. So it, that's probably why the bed sides are in pretty decent shape. Rear bumper, you have a little bit of scuffing right there, like, just like the front does. But it's not tweaked or bent or anything, and the chrome on the back is a nice shape. It's got hitch, but I love this original painted Ford, you know, the indents that they went away with. You know, I love the ones that don't have the panel because you can see that. Take you over to the passenger side, same stuff, a little bit of scratches here and there. You know, walk nice and smooth so you can see, and you got lots of uh, large photos attached. There's probably nearly 175 photos. You can see the paint in between here. You know, you see those factory spot welds, which is really cool. You can see it through here. Um, they did get into a little bit of something that scratched the bottom of the cab, scratched the bottom of the bed. And it put some scratches here, but also you'll see these scratches like this one here. You know, you could get in there with some good compound and actually get that out. Um, but there is a very, very slight indent. I mean, you have to catch it in the right light. But here you'll see, kind of follow my finger. So you might be able to just right in this area. Um, you can see where it indents. You probably could get in there and pop that out because you don't have to deal with any gas, uh, gas fillers or anything. New exhaust from the cat back. Couple of those little surface scratches here, and it's got looks like you know. Hopefully, you know you would think that you'd maybe stop, but I'm assuming this is the same situation. You know, maybe he caught something, and then when he pulled out, caught it right here and just pushed it in slightly. It's got the original spoked wheels with the original caps and beauty rings. The tires in good shape. It's uh, let's see what size are they? They came with 215 stock, which are tiny. So yeah, somebody went up to a 235 to fill up the wheel well a little bit. Got a little scratch here near the emblem on the passenger side. More than likely, this all happened at the same time, which can be a shame. But, uh, but again, look at these mirrors. I mean, if you know these Fords, you know, these 80s to 97 Fords, these mirrors just, man, they just get boom, surface for us. So that's what, you know, makes me think, you know, maybe these emblems, or I mean, maybe these miles are the original. It'll be sold on paperwork, miles exempt, just like every state, Washington State, anything over 10 years old, which is kind of amazing, because nowadays a 10 year old vehicle is a 2009. But uh, soon to be a uh, 2010. Never smoked in. Ashtray is really clean. You know, just had some change and stuff in there. Lighter's never been used. I don't even know if it's been fired off. But the outlet does work if you need to charge up your iPod or cell phone. But this truck is just bone stock, even down to the stereo. But you look at all these, all the buttons. The, the, the lettering's still nice and crisp. All this is not faded. Um, same with the overdrive off button. So those, so those are some of the kind of things I look at, thinking uh, maybe these are all the models. I mean, very little wear on the passenger side, but there's almost no chips, no door hinge issues. Door panels have a little bit of scuffing, but the cool thing I looked at on this door is I kind of expect this stuff. It's just where your feet go or your legs go getting in. These The shape of this, you just hit them. Uh, this pole arm's really nice, but a lot of times these door panels have just turned pink, you know, so... Um, assuming it's probably been well garage in its life because it doesn't have any wind noises or water issues. Seats in really nice shape. A little bit of fading the material on the driver's side that I'll take you to. Nice floor mat. You know, these screws have never been out. And that's why I love these uh, these original trucks. I just haven't been touched because nobody's gone into the door panel. And I mean, you probably could hear that, but that's how, door this, how solid this door is. I mean, it just has that. That's nice, solid sound. Beautiful gaps, but nobody's popped the door panel off a bunch of times and broke clips or broke the door panel and screwed some speakers in or taken the dash apart. It's just solid as it was new. You know, you got a little bit of wear where your feet go. No holes. You know, none of this is worn flat. This all looks great, no, not torn into. And these trucks weren't built to, they weren't worried about, oh, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the road, we want the seat to still be in good condition, which is why I come to kind of thinking, because uh, I've had some trucks that got pretty low miles in these. It's just all separated here, it's separated here and worn. Makes me think that maybe these miles are right. Um, steering wheel is really nice, isn't, isn't all gnarled up. The pad is in good shape, nice and tight. You know, the lettering. Factory tack, all gauges and tack work. The dome light just went out, actually. Um, so I'll replace that bulb. That'll be working. Uh, door panel, for some reason, you know, someone drilled in and a, it probably was coming loose a little bit. They're not anchored in there well. Um, so I'm going to try. I'll keep the ad post, uh, keep the ad updated. If I find a red one, I will definitely snag it and get it put on, hopefully. But if the worst case scenario, um, at least send it with the new owner. You can see no rust. You know, very little entryware, just a little bit right here. You can see the pads 
on the pedals are in nice shape. Inside the bed, nice and solid. A little bit of surface rust, but um, nothing to worry about. It's all solid metal. Tailgate shuts really nice and smooth. You can see it's nice and straight. Nobody's ever put in anything in the eyelids for anchors and done a ratchet strap and popped it out. But tailgate opens nice and smooth. You see all the straps are in good shape. In addition, shuts nice and solid. All right, take you underneath the hood. The hood, um, it's been greased up and everything, so you don't have any hang up issues. It pops right up, it's just a one arm. You know, sometimes you gotta get after it with two. You can see it's never had any overheating issue or it blows up and puts that film all over the bottom of the hood and the firewall. You can see none of these bolts have been messed with. I mean, even the original starter solenoid, the original Jackson place. I mean, just really clean. It's got the five, five liter 302. You know, again, this is, any of you four guys know, people, some, for some reason, it's just a pain to do the headlights sometimes. Um, you gotta get your hand in there. It's, it's easier to take this out, but sometimes people will lean on this, or they'll climb up in here to work and put their knee on here, and it'll snap this ear off, or this one. And so this is just a really clean, well-sorted little truck. The upper t intake manifold gasket was replaced. The throttle position sensor was replaced just because those things cause a problem. But uh, you know, fresh oil change, good green coolant. Um, you know, the valve cover gaskets probably could use a little bit of uh, maybe replacing on the road. If it sits for a little bit, you'll get a little bit of that, you know, when you first fire it up, a little bit of that oil on the exhaust manifold smell. Lots of pictures under underneath. And so, uh, really solid truck. And just clean and honest, you know, it's not all pressure washed and steam cleaned and it's sprayed with a bunch of spray paint. It's pretty much, you see how the truck is, how it should look for, um, how it should look for being uh, 30 years old. You can see it's just running nice and smooth. All right, so we'll go ahead and drop this hood on down. Latch is nice, doesn't keep bouncing up on you. So all right, this is our 91 Ford, uh, all original paint. Uh, clean to wash and title, zero accidents. It's going to be going at no reserve, so good luck. And uh, we're going to let it warm up and we're going to take off for our driving video. All right, here we are for a running driving video of our 91 F 150. It's kind of just starting to sprinkle on us. Kind of playing some mean games over here, but uh, luckily you can still see the condition of the paint. But all the photos before were shot with no rain, so you can see that there's uh, no rust bubbles or anything. Uh, it's low 30s here, so you're going to get your cold weather condensation, but uh, there's no smoke or uh, any issues like that. Got all of our turn signals going. Nice, clean, clear headlights. I mean, even behind the, gr the grill, the transmission cooler is really nice and clean. So I'm going to get in here. Hopefully I didn't get any raindrops on the GoPro, but uh, we'll be reshooting that bad boy if that happens. But both windows, I normally I'd show this stuff when I'm out, but you know they roll nice and smooth. And it goes for both cases. Um, you know, the windows are really nice and tight. You gotta give them good pressure to move them. They're not gonna flop around the wind. And you can see they're right up against the window, so they're nice. Uh, you don't have to put a bunch of nickels in there. Um, heater works phenomenal, and I'm gonna leave that guy on just a little bit because it's cold out here. Just leave it kind of trickling out. Um, even if you have it all the way down here, it still trickles. Original it's stereos. House call. Uh, the waiting room was packed. He was but, uh, you know, it's not all staticky. Um, it's on the front tank. Both tanks work good. I'll go to the rear. It's got a little bit above E. Uh, they have different sending units and uh, fuel pumps. So if one goes bad, you still got the other one. Uh, you can see your little arrows come on. We'll go ahead and turn the four ways off. Uh, you got your little map lights. Both those come on. Dome light works. Like I mentioned in the other video, I'll throw a bulb in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the overdrive off so you can see it works. I like to show everything operates. And um, hopefully if uh, traffic allows, we can get on the highway. Obviously, wipers, you guys have to deal with that. But the cool thing is, is uh, you don't got a lot of speeds on this bad boy, so I'll probably turn them on and off because they're gonna make a little bit of noise. Because um, it is a brand new windshield, so she's crispy clean. Um, but you can see the, the 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 water beading up on the hood, nice, and the paint job. So that's one benefit of starting to rain. It looks like it might be actually just stopping, just did a little sprinkle on us to 
try to ruin our parade. But uh, it's got good power. Overdrive off, you know, I always talk about is one of those buttons that you can just never do anything with. I just like to show it operates. It's kind of like uh, owner preference. You know, it's like oil changes. Some people like to go 2,500. Some people like to go 3,000. Some like to go 5,000. But uh, the overdrive off is intended for if you have heavy loads. It does have the camper package. Um, but if you're doing like, you know, stop and go traffic, you're constantly on the freeway, stop, go, stop, go. Or if you're cruising through town, just running some errands and you're always under 35 miles an hour, for example. If you turn the overdrive off, it kind of just keeps a little bit of wear and tear out of the transmission. It keeps it going from third to fourth gear and keep going up and down, up and down, up and down as you're stopping and going. Um, and it's just kind of, you know, owner preference, owner, you know, preventive maintenance, stuff like that. But uh, I'm hopefully going to get on the highway here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And it's always on, so you can just, you know, be like a lot of people and just that button's blind. Yeah, and that's perfect. You see the turn signal works. There's no turn signal cam issues in the steering column. So we're gonna go ahead and just get out here. You can see the tack work. Um, so just did a shift. You got tilt steering column. It's nice and smooth. I'll kind of tilt it up so hopefully you guys can see the, the gauges. And you can see it just cruises really nice and smooth. But tilt steering columns in nice shape, no binding issues, no slop, it's really nice and tight. So you go see it's about 60 miles an hour, about 1800 RPM, you turn the overdrive off, it automatically kicks down, you're about 2500 at about 58, 59 miles an hour. Click it, find it, go ahead and click it back on and there she goes. So that operates nice, you can see it just drives nice and straight down the road. You know, there's a little bit of play in the steering, um, but it's still nice and tight. And we'll go, I'm gonna go through some corners up here. Um, I'm doing slow miles an hour, so you can see it's got it's got good uh, tension on the steering box. It's not an old slush box. Uh, there's no ball joints clicking and nothing like that. It brakes nice and smooth. Um, the uh, uh, there's a bunch of patches over here, so I'm gonna take it take you through there. And there's some potholes uh, to show you. It's really nice and rattle free. I'm gonna go ahead and floor it. You can see a down kick. It's got that upshift. Nice upshift. Just got that nice deep V8 throttle body sound. Just really nice. You know, if you're getting on it, it's got nice quick solid upshifts. But if you're putting around town, it's just really it just operates like it should, just nice little soft shifts. It's not gonna drive you your wife nuts, you know. Um, see I'll do the left turn signal so you can see there's no cam issues. Yeah, my glass cleaner just came flying out from the seat and rolling around in case you saw that. <laughs> um, so you got all these potholes. You can see these bad patches. And you can hear it just soaks them up nice. Again, there too. Really nice patch here. We're doing about 35. Um, you know, tires are nice and smooth. They're street tires, highway tires, whatever you want to call them. I'm kind of riding the patch here. But you can see it's really nice and smooth. You know, doesn't the transmission doesn't shudder? I mean, it really doesn't have any needs. You know, you, there might be some wants. You might want to uh, put a better stereo in it, stuff like that. Uh, the dash doesn't have any cracks. There is a little bit of area right here that I think I missed in the other video, um, where it looks like something may have been like maybe a um, compass or you know one of those little it looks like one of those circle things that tells you what you know what direction you're going and stuff like that. That's full of water. Uh, one of those old school things. Ashtray moves nice and tight. Light inside there works. You know, all these, all this stuff is really nice condition. So there's a tight 90 to the left. You can see the steering wheel gives good resistance. You know, it wants to return to, to center as much as it can automatically. Obviously, it'll never do that all the way for you. But you got good resistance. You know, you let go and it bounces back. Uh, it's not the, uh, you know, obviously if it was a, totally worn out up front, we'd be having the steering wheel be turned like way over here. and smooth, nice tight 90, really nice sound of V8. So no reserve here, if you guys want more photos, more videos, you just let me know. Uh, it's going to be going home to uh, a new owner for sure. Alrighty.